Hey, welcome to the last mission in Destiny 2, the Witch Queen DLC. Hello, dude. Dick. So right now I'm fighting Savathun. And now I have to fight uh, the Witch Queen again. Jesus Christ, dude. This is crazy. Have you guys ever seen the Cathedral of Dusk or Cathedral of Dawn map in this game? Or Citadel map? In Destiny 2, in the multiplayer, those maps look so sick. There's way more, but those are the ones that come to my mind, personally. That's oh my god, bro. No way. I saw the end before it happened. No way, dude. It's Savathun. Dude. I gotta comb my hair for, for Savathun. No, oh, Savathon. Why? If there is an owl the world begins to fade. So now you want to play games? Then let's play. Uh, oh, that's not what you guys are noobs. The traveler You're not in the Witch Queen, I'm in the Witch Queen. We were forced to choose the deep. Let's get more bounties uh, from Finch uh, before we continue. And let's go to the tower. I'm going to get a nice uh, cutscene. So it looks like I'm heading over here uh, for the campaign. So let me spawn here, the elevator right here to get to the cutscene. Had no idea this was here. Oh. So it becomes more story driven as the game goes on. If she never lost them in the first place. This has to be another trick. A lie to fool us into surrendering the travel without a fight. And if Savathun takes the traveler, we lose our light, along with any hope for surviving the witness's return. So, whatever it takes to stop this heist, we will do. Well, cool, it's spawning right here. Oh, I have like a lot of lights here. Kind of cool. I guess it's like set up for Christmas. Okay, so let's go speak with her on Mars in Savathon Throne World. The worm hatchling of the Witch Queen, which you get to see later in a cutscene of her on the beach. So there's no way to know if like Riven, the Ahamkara, and the Witch Queen and in Season of the Wish, if, like, he is the offspring or something. They say in the story that uh, Ravent will open the way with the Watcher uh, to the final shape or something. And in Root of Nightmares, they actually have, like, a cannon pointed at the moon with, like, silver... Uh, with, like, pink indentations there. This looks cool. Take some screen caps. We will feed her fear, her pride. Cool, dude. We will say, Young Sathona, the end is coming. This is definitely me, right here. That's so me, dude. A god wave. In the sky, there is only death. Yo, a cataclysm, a god wave. But salvation lies in the deep. She said salvation lies in the deep. Did she talk about ghosts from the deep? I showed you how to unlock that dungeon like two videos ago. Where I showed you how to buy the the banners in the light blade video. Let's just accept the quest. Take the familiar to So I need to complete the ritual mission. So go to Savathon's Throne World and the ritual quest is on the right hand side. Savathun is doing why won't it take the light away from her? I'm just going to ignore why everything here. Why is letting this happen? I don't know why. We may never know. Ooh, the thing. Later on, you have to fight Threadweavers. Oh, whoa. So this guy just walked out of the tower. Dude. Hold your fire, Guardian. I've got this. You hear? This is like a... Don't let it distract superhero. you from stopping the ritual. Uh, 
Alright, so, once you walk into this building, you could like inspect this thing, you don't really need to do anything. Go to the northeast. The year of like, Monster Hunter being off by like, one year. And just, like losing your life to that. Oh wow, you could, so you can see the castle stronger. over here. If Remember you look up, you can see the, Stop the, the ritual, the moon. The like how she rests the, the entire Destiny defenses. franchise moon on top of her, her thing. So, this thing looks cool. Let's go inside. After defeating all the enemies. The ritual is happening at the top and of so, the fortress. There's a ritual he happening. So once you go inside, you're just gonna hop down. So you have to go through a series of portals here, and it's kind of complicated. What you need to do is you need to get orbs uh, by going through portals. You can't fight the light bearer wizard there. So you're gonna start out. You're gonna go west. Once you go west, you defeat all these enemies. You're gonna go into this green portal, the northwest. These dudes can't shoot the crystal. Now you can. Nice. Let's go down the left-hand staircase. You have two more crystals to take out. Second crystal. Let's continue this way. Now to the third one. Perfect. Okay. So. Okay. So after you destroy that third crystal, you're gonna go through this northeast portal. Nice. Which brings you right back to the, the starting point. So after you go to the east side, essentially what you're gonna do is there's no crystals yet. You're gonna go through the northeast portal, which is like impossible to remember. And then you're gonna fight uh, three more crystals. So get rid of this one right here. Okay. So once you go through here, the first crystal is on the east side. You defeat all these enemies, and then you're gonna go north. You defeat all these enemies. This is the second crystal. Okay. Get ahead a bit. The third crystal is on the west side. There. So, you're going to run to the west, once you get back down here, and you're going to go through this portal. I probably purposely went through it, so it was like the shortest possible portal. Alright, so let's go through this one, since this has magic symbols. The one that I went down downstairs. And then let's grab the orb. And then I'm gonna hop down and throw it into this thing. And then I can shoot one of the crystals. It's not working. Yeah, perfect. So I shot one of the crystals. Spawns a few enemies. Rocket launcher then. I go the rocket launcher. So let's go to the northeast now. So this one has middle, middle eyelashes, middle eyelashes, middle um, sonic sound. So this third one is missing sonic sound. So let's go look for another one. Oh, there it is. So the portal's over there. So the top over here. It has the same runes. Nice. If I match, get the other four charge. So, the top down. And take out the other crystal. Alright, right, so let's press L3 and R3 on this thing. And 
let's go through this portal right here. Oh cool, I got some loot rewards. It looks mad cool up here. Wow. So after you go through the portal, you're in like the attic area. This looks pretty cool. Got like a huge chandelier. So I'm gonna hop on the chandelier. And it starts rising. Oh, that's cool. Oh, check it out. What a surprise. This area has sick lighting. This throne world is indistinguishable from my own mind. They're gonna go west here once you get up here. Every bullet fired. Every thought whispered. And west again and hop out. I keep and count the mobile. Remember that. Yo, check it out. I'm like on top of the, the castle. You can see the Dark Souls 3 castle over there. So once you get up here, like in your, like on top of the, the huge, like a uh, baptism thing holding the moon, and you can see the Dark Souls castle. You can't miss it. You're gonna hop into this elevator. You're going to like, it looks like a Legion elevator or something. Just hop right into it, and you get abducted. Man, cool, dude. That happened on YouTube as well. I got the huge swing pendulum. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna place my rally banner. Charge up my overcharge. So essentially you wait at the second statue so you don't get hit by the huge bell. And then you should be Gucci. Nice dude. I'm so glad you're here to see Oh wow. So check out Savathun, right under the moon. What's happening? Oh whoa dude. Sick. So right now I'm fighting Savathun. The last boss. You actually get across this bridge of water to the island. And fight her again. It's pretty cool. So I'm gonna use my strength. It has mad health, dude. I'm level 1790. I played the Life Ball campaign, so I'm not constrained, obviously. Final phase comes out in June 2024. Using the Wishes Pool. You gotta see the White Riding Dragon, who's apparently gonna open maybe the light into the moon or something. So, that should be pretty sick. Let me take out my Golden Rocket Launcher. This rocket launch is amazing. Okay, so here's phase two. You have to defeat enemies and then you can finish her off. So, this is where this dude's moon thing. The light bear guy. So she's gonna raise her ghost is still alive. It's apparently like the oldest ghost in the world. Asked to defy the will of the traveler. My ghosts make no concessions. We serve the traveler's true interests. And you ride your sparrow here? No, no. concessions. How stupid do you think I am? Whatsoever. 
but I almost have um, uh, super, so I'll do this bunch of grenade on him. We'll double tap the to dodge. Nice dude. That's mad health. Her helmet looks cool. It's only gonna use my strands. Punch her a bit. That size of projection. I'm gonna fight another projection of her. Do that like two or three times and disrupt the ritual. And then you're gonna fight two more of her over here on the right hand side. And then make the top. So, right it right here. Imagine not taking a chance to check it out though. It's kind of crazy. That was just death, dude. That was death defines. That's crazy. I just changed that. Just to look at the witch screen. That's crazy. I'm crazy. Alright, so. Oh, the portal's open. Alright, so. It's kind of cool. I have like the Witch Queen over there and all these like webs holding the planet. So I'm gonna go through the west, then you just have to go through three portals. And three dudes. Then you auto get teleported back. What do you think you're going to do? And so that's one. You can't stop this. I know it goes against your nature. But you can still lose gracefully. Everything makes so much sense in this game. That's two. Let me summon the Witch Queen. Alright, I put a, I put her worm hatchling underneath the planet. These frail siblings. Oh wow, this is cool. Will soon be claimed by the light. Unless we claim them first. What is this? How did you? We will tell the most cunning sailing of the cataclysm. Ah. I'm in the Witch Queen, guys. Of great loss. Aha. <laughs> no. No, that's not what You guys happened. are noobs. The traveler You're not in the Witch Queen. I'm in the Witch Queen. We were forced to choose the deep. I'm going to be in the final shade, too. This. So now you to play games, then let's play. Uh, so, you now I have to fight uh, the Witch Queen again. Jesus Christ, dude. This is crazy. Have you guys ever seen the Cathedral of Dusk? Or Cathedral of Dawn map in this game, or Citadel map in Destiny 2 in the multiplayer. Those maps are so sick. There's way more, but those are the ones that come to my mind personally. Let's continue fighting her. Nah, I'm gonna fight her from over here, dude. This looks natural. Like fighting with a the thread runner class. And it's great. So press L1. Like spider man over here. L1 is fine. It's like way better, dude. Alright, so after you defeat her again, you get teleported here automatically.
Okay. And now there's two witch queens here, dude. That's crazy. Let's go take out the final thread weaver. I, I prefer, obviously, to have the, the golden shotgun. I mean, the golden... I prefer to have the golden rocket launcher in my explanations. Which people are totally going to play. Like, I saw someone, like, freak out and play, like, WoW for, like, 60 hours. And I knew then and there that, like, I had a dramatic impact on gamers everywhere. Okay. So I defeated the third one. It looks like there's three witch queens to fight onto the planet. So I need to take all three of them out, dude. Alright, so double tap B to dodge. Throw okay. Like threaded spike at that one. Perfect. Let me hit this one with a suspension grenade. And move to it because he's in the Amazing. Omega boost. Omega. Nice. Alright, here's the final witch queen, dude. I mean, fighting the Witch Queen, obviously, I got the Witch Queen uh, Sparrow, which is kind of cool. The vehicle, which you tap select and hold X to charge. I I beat Lightfall. I fought Ember Callus, who looked mad cool. Um, that was an incredible fight. This is an incredible fight versus Sacred Dream. Uh, the Witch Queen. Uh, let me L1 away, Spider Man away. With this thing, take out some of these dudes. But she's too powerful. I could use strand meditations like I just got to upgrade my stuff. Um, like I showed you in Season of Wish Week 2. They have seasons as well if you want to handle pass. Um, which is so useful because essentially if you if you own the annual pass, then you're able to unlock rewards each of the seasons that they have every few months. So you can level up a little bit more. And then obviously doing like the story mode DLCs. Um, you get like to fight really cool bosses, like Saber Thune. You get to see all the different, all the different designs and areas, and the bosses, enemy designs. And the more you level up, obviously, if you beat Life Ball, you reach like 1770. If you beat the Witch Queen too, you reach like 1800. And you should be pretty good to do like Fruit of Nightmares raid with Nezarak. Proto's end maybe you could get with like level 18. 20 people, two of them. Um, yeah, you definitely need to level up if you want to do like the really advanced, advanced levels. So this is a really good fight. David has mad health. At 25% health, you need to go clear out one of the, the dudes like from before. Alright, so. Yeah, the arrow is like really working against her. Let me take out my golden rocket launcher. Perfect. Alright, so let's use it on this dude. Take these dudes out. Charge up my overpower. Rockets are so good. It always feels like that. Cool. It's like using the the Trials of Osiris shotgun. Let me take out my Trials of Osiris shotgun. So, oh, I put it away. So, let me go finish off Saber Thing with my golden rocket launcher. Nice dude, beat her. Okay, T-Bag, Saber Thing. <laughs> That's mad funny, dude. I T-Bagged Emperor Callus and Saber Thing. This is interesting. I miscalculated. 
So did you, Guardian. So protective of your traveler. That you wouldn't Incredible. let me keep it safe. But the witness is coming. This looks nice. The game is yours to play now. Yours to win. I got my Monte Carlo. That's my primary. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, so that I don't know if that's our ghost or if that's Finch. <laughs> you actually have to do another raid after this, I think. No. Where did I don't know if this go? actually counts. Guardian, I just got the message. The traveler is back in the last city. Is it done? Is Salvatum? She's dead. But her ghost got away. They have to like, finish enough. off her ghost Hold and. The they last city. It's another raid. Remains. And then you're done. Good work, Guardian. That one's very straightforward. You did the right thing. Now what? Now we prepare for the witness and stop the next collapse. Nice dude. Yeah, so here it shows uh, the witness coming from the darkness. Darkness. I, I think this actually happens at the beginning of the Lightfall campaign, too. We have seen in her. The children of soul cry out for That's crazy, dude. Soul Silver Wolf. Never forget. Never forget Soul Silver Wolf and the Destiny Loot Cave. But deliver only death. As you have for so many before. Enough. Enough death. Enough, Enough life. Yo, look how many Twitch bits this dude no has. Left to place. He has mad Twitch bits. The game is over. Do not this dude has the most Twitch bits in the world. Witness. Your He's gonna be in the final hard. shape. I don't know if he's like the offspring of the Witch Queen, like from the worm. This or, I know Riven and him are going to open the way to the moon. No so, I'm pretty stoked. Guy has big eyes, dude. I can't believe I have to do this on my other Twitch name, dude. Now I have to edit all these thumbnails. It should be on my main Twitch name. It's like Twitch is bifurcating my bifurcating my content. That's that's the most they could do. Ban me for cursing, and then put half of my content on a different name into the pyramid again. We need the support now more than ever. All right, so let's go. skip this. Aid the queen. Let's go meet Marisov. She may prove to be our most valuable ally. So, in the enter the Wellspring. You actually unlock that after you do the next mission with Marisov. And let me run into the pyramid now that I spoke with Akor Ray. Automatically, it teleported me to the Enclave. So let's go speak with Marisov, the Queen of the Awoken. So you go south and you're going to go south into this pyramid even further. And then when you approach a dying worm. Oh, cool. So I got another cutscene specifically made with my ghost. 
Is that crazy? Is that? Like they have new the ghosts all the time that, that you get in the game, queen and they just put them in cutscenes. How does that even work? Good to see you. How do you program a cutscene after the, the game's already made? This parasite knocks at death's door. They it programmed just based on the armor Our sets. Collapse. But not so it means they put like that day 50 was much million a possible a combinations for the cutscenes okay? and the armor. I'm fine. As I said, our collapse was an end. Her worm. It requires strength and a new host to survive, to divulge its secrets. But that's a death sentence. For most, yes. But for the Queen of the Awoken? It's worth the risk. Perfect. I complete some of these bounties. Nice. Cool. I got a lot of engrams and season progress. I got the Eververse engram, 25,000 glitter, 